This story is going to change the way you think and will inevitably change your life. And it was shared by a successful magazine entrepreneur and he shared this story at a Toastmasters. He said that in the 1980s, he was not doing so well in high school. He was surrounding himself with the wrong crowd. He was falling behind in school and he was getting into dangerous behaviors. What he decided to do was to take the SAT exam to show his mom that he is actually trying to better his life. And if you don't know what the SAT exam is, it's a two-part test, verbal and mathematics, and both of those are graded on 800 points. So collectively, it's a test out of 1,600 points. So he went in to take this test without any kind of expectations because he wasn't doing so well in his school. He took the test in May and he got the results back in June. To his astonishment, out of the 1600 points, he ended up receiving 1480. Again, 1480 out of 1600 for someone who was not doing so well in school. His mom saw the results and the first question she asked him was, did you cheat on this test? And he told her even if he tried to cheat, he couldn't based on the spacing of the chairs in the room, based on the size of the number two pencils and not being able to see the answers on everyone else's Scantron sheets. So something clicked in his mind. He thought to himself that if he got a 1480 out of 1600, that he's actually going to start putting in a little bit of effort in school. So when he went back to school later that year, he changed his behaviors. He stopped hanging around the wrong crowd. He started putting in a little bit of effort in school. And because he started doing that, teachers took note that, hey, he's actually putting in effort. This student is actually doing something to better his life. So we're going to give him a little bit more attention because because maybe we missed something. He got a 1480 out of 1600. We should put in the effort to help him improve as well. He went on to graduate. He went on to a four year Ivy League school. He got an MBA and he went on to become a very successful magazine entrepreneur. So most people would think, hey, something clicked in his brain and his intelligence was activated and he did amazing on his SAT. But this is where the story gets better. And this is the part that I want you to really listen in on. So lean in and listen to this part. 12 years after taking the SAT exam and excelling and going on to become extremely successful, he received a letter in the mail from Princeton University. And he didn't really think anything of it until the following day his wife said, hey, you should probably open this letter up. He opened the letter up and in it, Princeton University says, that it's a very common practice for the SAT board to review their policies and exam guidelines. And they do this very frequently. And as they were reviewing the year that he took the exam, they noticed that 13 students, including him, he was one out of 13 students who received the wrong exam results. He in fact did not get a 1480 out of 1600 but rather a 740 out of 1600. So this was really interesting because he goes on to say that it wasn't the 1480 out of 1600 that changed his life. It's when he started behaving as a 1480 out of 1600 student. Here is the biggest takeaway that I want you to incorporate into your life after listening to this story. Your thoughts, your behaviors, and your belief system are the catalyst to how you're going to succeed in life. You need to start acting as if you already have the thing in your life that you want. You need to start behaving as if you've already achieved the goal that you've set forth in order to accomplish in your life. You need to change the way you think, the way you behave, the way you act, the way you react, who you surround yourself with, the way you show up for yourself, your loved ones, your community, the way you show up every single day. It is going to help you get closer, if not to the point where you want to be and what you're working towards. So I've shared this before many times, especially in the four minute mile story of Roger Bannister, who crushed the four minute mile. Most people thought that you could not run a four minute mile. It was impossible for the human body and the human mind to be able to handle that kind of pressure. But Roger Bannister did so. And then years after that, to this point, people continue to crush that record. What you believe is impossible is a matter of fact is possible, but you have to start showing up and behaving today as the version of you who already has that. 
So let's say you wanna be successful on YouTube and have a million subscribers. How would the version of you show up today? What would you do in the morning? What kind of content would you create? How would you respond to your community? How would you show up to the people that are watching your content? Let's say you want to be successful and have a million dollars in the bank account. What would that version of you be doing today? When you wake up, your morning routine, your daily routine, your evening routine, who would you surround yourself with? How would you allocate the funds to be able to have a million dollars? And if you had them, what would you be doing with that money? Would you give back to charity? Would you give back to the causes and things you believe in? Can you start making that difference today instead of waiting till you have a million dollars? If you wanted to have a successful business, if you wanted to lose weight, let's say you wanted to put on muscle, what would that version of you be doing today? What kind of foods would you be eating? How much would you work out? When would you work out? What would your relationship be with food? Your thoughts, your behaviors, and your belief system are the catalyst for you being successful in life. Start showing up today as the version of you who already has the thing that you want. Start behaving like a 1480 out of 1600 SAT exam taker if you want to succeed in school. I originally heard this story from Trevor Moab who said that his father shared this after his father attended a toast master session. The story is powerful and I want you to really think about your life and your belief system and your thoughts and your behaviors and what are you doing today to get closer to where you want to be. Start acting as if you have the thing that you want. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.